Hi. Well, today I've got this little uh, Sig Sauer 1911-22 out here. I'm going to get a few rounds on camera with it. And this has the same uh, dimensions, the same feel as a real 1911. But the internal designs are a little different. And that's N22 caliber instead of 45 or 38 Super or something like that. Doesn't quite have the same weight as a real uh, 1911, but the dimensions are all the same, and it really feels like a 1911 in your hand. But anyway, I'll get this thing loaded up, and we'll get a few rounds on camera with it. Yeah, I got her all loaded up here, and we'll get at least a few shots on camera with it. See if I can get it right up close to the camera here where you can get a good view of it. Well, this little Sig Sauer 1911-22 really does have the look and feel of a real 1911, except that it's not quite as heavy. You get all the markings to show up here. And these aren't actually made by Sig Sauer. There's a, I believe it's Walther that uh, manufactures these and they uh, put various different names on them like Sig Sauer or Colt. But they're all basically the same gun. The internals are different than a real 1911. It's a straight blowback uh, action instead of a toggled one like in a real 1911 10 round magazine and it does have a sturdy steel magazine that has some weight to it has an ambi safety The sights are pretty good on it. Does have a magazine. You can uh, get extra magazines for these. 
the trigger pull is not too bad. Well, as I said before, it does have a, or I started to say anyway, it does have a magazine safety. Trigger pull is probably about three and a half pounds, probably. But I want to do an end of video shout out. And this one's for Weasel Acres. And I'll put a link to the channel in the description of the video. Give a little free time, go check it out. Thanks for watching.